Oz and Vic are sitting outside in the rain while the Maserati is on fire. Now, Vic came back and saved Oz when him and Sophie were down on the ground because initially he thought that he was about to be done with the game. He left, but he came back and he saved Oz. Now, Oz is telling him about a guy by the name of Rex who lived in his neighborhood and he had a very, very nice car. But that car wasn't just a regular car. It was his chariot. So he's basically showing Vic that the car that you drive is one of your most valued possessions. And Vic is saying, I don't know, I only got one, one, one shot shot at, uh, at, at doing this. And Oz is saying, you came back and saved me. That's all that matters. That's the important thing, Vic, is you and me now. Now he's really believing in Vic and trusting him. Now Oz's plan after he has some gentlemen come pick him up is to get back at the Maroney. Remember Maroney, Sal, he's in prison. He has the ring that they got from Alberto. Well, he looks on TikTok and they see his son, Taj. Now he's on TikTok talking, oh, we about that life. Well, he's getting a tattoo. And Oz and his crew, they pull up on him. We actually see Vic get into some action, chase him down, punch him a couple of times. And then you hear him saying, you're messing with the wrong family. And Oz stomps him out and tells him, that's what I'm banking on. He wants the Maroney family to come after him because he has a new product on the streets. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J and we are locked in. This is the recap for the Penguin, episode five. Now, this episode actually picks up right where we left off at the end of episode three because episode four was Sophia's origin story. Now, this is after Vic came back and saved eyes. We know what happened to Sophia. She got picked up and we went through all of that. So before we jump into this and we break down episode five, if you like the Penguin, breakdowns, theories, and predictions, different articles about the show, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. Now, our boy Oz, he's trying to take over the game. Now, you know he didn't backstab Sal and everyone. He was also backstabbing Sophia. But hey, when you're in the game, you're in the game. And let me tell you, Oz, he's playing to win. So let's jump into it. This is the recap of episode five, The Penguin. Oz goes to the prison to talk to Sal and the Maroney family and let them know, hey, I got your son. What you want to do? Now, of course, his wife is like, hey, there's a code to the streets. And Oz is saying, well, then maybe I kidnapped the wrong person. But anyway, let's get back to business. You guys got my shrooms and I want my product back. Now, Sal, he's sitting here and he's getting upset. But he has to remember that his son is kidnapped and Oz has all the leverage. So he says, I want your wife to come and deliver what is rightfully mine. She can bring one guard, but if not, then hey, we're gonna have some issues. Now you hear Sal's wife tell him, hey, he's gonna betray us. But Sal's like, don't worry, we'll be ready. Oz ain't trying to hear none of that. Speak English around here. As Oz is leaving the prison, he pays one of the guards, 11 o'clock, red jacket. Well, as he leaves, he hears on the news that the Falcone family has been taken out. The only survivor, confirmed survivor, is Sophia. So this has eyes wondering, wait a minute, what the hell's going on? Sophia's alive, but the whole Falcon family is gone? Something ain't adding up. Something ain't adding up. But he knows Sophia, she ain't playing fair. She's coming after him. We head over to Sophia, and we see all of the Falcon family laid out over the yard. Now, we see the young girl. She's actually leaving. Child Protective Services is getting her. And then we see the chief of police. Miss Falcone, can I talk to you? He says, I prefer Sophia. Isn't it kind of suspicious that the family is dead? What was the argument about? You said you slept in the greenhouse. She said, listen, Johnny and my Uncle Luca, they got into it. Something about his wife. But I don't know much about that. But what are you doing here? The chief of police? Doing house calls? Are you and your buddies going to go... Swap some beers and share stories about my family? Or are you here to make sure that my family's gone because you guys are missing your kickbacks and you want to sell these photos to basically TMZ? So he stops asking her questions because they were on the payroll. Sophia goes to talk to Johnny. Now he's out in his tomb. He's sitting down there and just his drawers and his wife beater, which she woke him up in. And she's like, listen, I need cash, untraceable cash. Oh, yeah, and real quick, Johnny, the police are looking for you. Now, Johnny, he's trying to act tough. I know as soon as I do it, you tell me you're going to unalive me. She's like, eh, listen, Johnny, you're not that brave. So you're over here talking about go ahead and unalive you. 
you're not that brave. So what she does is throw water on them and tell them it's going to get cold down here. Now, it's going to take a lot from your body to keep you warm. So once she throws this water on them, she's basically saying, we're going to speed up that process if you don't want to talk, tough guy. While Sophia is waiting on Johnny to tell where the money is, Johnny starts to confess about what actually happened with her mother. Now, he's not saying directly what happened to her, but he's saying that Sophia's mother was about to leave. She was going to leave several times, and every time she came back before she was unalive was because of the kids. Now, he's saying he has no reason to lie, and at this point, you can tell he's not going to be lying. He's shivering. He's trying to figure out how he can get up out of this. So Sophia wants to hear this. And now, with the whole family in disarray, Johnny is saying, listen, I can get the respect from everyone else in the organization if you just keep me around. I'll be your right hand. Hey. You can kind of trust me, but you can't trust me. But believe me, I can help you out. Vic goes to check on Oz's mom. Now, when he gets there, the TV is on, loud as hell. The stove looks like water's boiling. The refrigerator is open. He's like, what the hell is going on? He goes in the back room, and Oz's mother is sitting in the bed with a baseball glove asking him, do you remember this? And Vic is like, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I work with Oz. She's like, I know who you are. Where's my son at? So he's like, man, what the hell's going on? But then he starts to say, hey, he's after the Maronis. The Falcone family's taken out. And Oz's mother knows everything that's going on. She's like, wait a minute. She snaps out of it. My son is going to need my help. And Vic is like, uh, what do you mean need your help? What exactly are you going to do? Oz is starting to make moves. He got to go to the drop. And remember, he paid a guard. Well, the guard is getting his money's worth. He goes in there. He shanks Sal. Oz shows up with Taj. They're trying to meet up with Nadia and get this product back. Now, she's saying the product's in the truck. But once I get my son, then you guys can leave with the truck. Now, Oz is like, all right, let's do this. Tells Taj, chill, quit shaking. But as soon as he delivers them over to Nadia, guess what? It's an ambush. They close the garage door and the guns, they come out. Oz is no dummy. Once this shooting goes down, well, you're wondering why Taj was shaking. They had him doused in gasoline because Oz knew that something like this would happen. So after the shooting takes place, you see Oz light that lighter, drop it on that trail of gasoline, and it goes straight for Taj. But we got the product too. And just like that, Oz is back in the game. We got the shrooms. We got rid of the Falcone family. Thanks to Sophia. We got rid of the Maronis. <laughs> this man, Oz, is on a mission. Well, unfortunately, once Oz gets to the meetup point, he goes in the back of the truck and all of the mushrooms, well, they didn't die. Either the heat or the fire extinguisher putting them out. All of the mushrooms, they're done. It's over with. But then he ends up getting a phone call. Now, this phone call that he makes is supposed to go to Mikey, the guard that was going to take out Sal. Well, Sal did get stabbed, but he escaped. The guard didn't finish the job. So he actually picks up the phone and he's talking to Oz and telling them, there's no place I can't find you. You're cooked, brother. And Oz says, well, call your wife and see if she picks up. That'll tell you who's cooked. So Sal is out. The Falcon family is down. Sophia is up. Man, just when you think you're about to get to where you want to be, Oz takes another step back. Oz calls Vic because he is nervous as hell now that Sal is on the loose. He knows there's no place that he can hide. He calls up Vic and lets him know, you need to get my mom. How is she? Vic is like, she, 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 how is she, Vic? She, she, she's fine. She's fine. She's sleeping right now. He says, listen, you need to get the go bag and go somewhere no one would think to find you. Vic doesn't know where to go, but Oz is telling him to get the money out the pantry behind the vent, hit the road, and don't look back. Notify me once you get to a location. Sophia's walking around the house, looking at her newfound glory. She's walking around. You can start to see the evilness build up inside of her. But then she gets a knock on the door, and it's her therapist, Julian Rush. Now, when he comes in here, she's like, 
no, we're done. We're not doing this anymore. He says, no, 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 no. I'm seeing something else, and I've seen what happened on the news, but I want a piece of whatever you got going on. I want to be a part of that. I want to share that energy. Now, Sophia looks at him, and you can see that she's probably like, hmm, I can maybe use a gentleman with some brains on the team. Did you hear me say that evil was building up? Well, Sophia has just became Sophia. So for real, the hangman. She enters into the room. Johnny tells everyone to be quiet. She sits down at the head of the table and she lets everyone know the Falcon family is dead. We're no longer mentioning them. None of you guys are made men except for Johnny. I took out my whole family. We're going to do things differently around here. Now, we're not going to war with the Maronis. And you hear Johnny telling her, hey, what are you doing? Hey, guys. Don't listen to that part. We're going to get even. And what does Sophia do? She takes a gun out and shoots Johnny. She's playing by her rules. No one else is in charge here. We know who the boss is. And that money that Johnny showed her, if he would have just shut his mouth, he'd still be here. But instead, he went against what Sophia wanted. And she tells all of these henchmen, that money that my father had, He made it off of your back. But if you join me, you'll make more money than you've ever seen in your life. And everybody eats up under Sophia. Vic takes Oz's mother to Crown Point. He runs into Squid. And remember, Squid is who his dad told him to avoid, a drug dealer who actually seen him go up into the house. Now, Oz, he's on the run. So where does he go? Where anyone goes when they're in a time of need and desperation. In TV shows, he goes to his booze house. Now, she's a working girl, but he wants her to go on the run with her. She's like, well, that's where this ends. When you get back on top of the game, she'll meet back up with you. Now, Oz, he's hurt. because He's like, right now, this is my time of need. Vic got us a spot. We good to go. But she says, nah, when you get back on top of the game, let me know when I'll be there. So Oz, he lost the only woman that knew him. Sophia Jaconte shows up at Sal's crib, and she's like, sit down. I'm not going to take you out. But then they go down memory lane at the difference between the Falcone family and the Maroney family. See, Sal cared about his family, and he says the Falcones, they eat each other, which we've seen. Now, what she's saying is she was betrayed by a driver who ran a BS story against her, and Oz is that same driver that backdoors Sal. So she's saying, listen. I dropped the Falcon name. It's Jaconti now. Jaconti's and Maroni's, we come together and we take over the city and we take out Oz. Sal is looking like, hmm, that sounds good because he did just get at my son. Oz finally meets back up with Vic and his mom. Him and his mom, they're reminiscing about his father. And of course, Oz is nothing like his father. But his mom is like, are you trying to kill me? Get off of me, Oz. Get off of me. So he goes into the living room and he's talking to Vic. And as he's talking to Vic about his brother in that baseball glove, he goes to this jar and he sees a Gotham City trolley coin. And this leads him and Vic to the underground trails. This is where the trolleys used to be. And if you think back of the old penguin, where did he live? Where was his compound? Underground. So this is where Eyes takes Vic. And tells him that these tunnels go all throughout the city. Once they get down there, Oz finds a generator, gives it three or four cranks. It starts up. He looks around. And he's like, this place is calling me home. Hey, yo, kid, you know what grows down here? Vic looks over at Oz. Mushrooms. So now we got the underground tunnels. It's time to open up business. Business is booming. All right, there you go to recap for episode five, The Homecoming of Penguin. Let me know what you think about it. Are you glad to see Penguin finally move down in the tunnels? Because I was wondering when were they going to do anything to, quote unquote, be like the Penguin? Because I'm always thinking back on the old Penguin show where he actually had the penguins and everything down up under the ground with him. So at least we know we're down here now and this is going to be a great place for the mushrooms to grow. Let me know what you think about that. And how do you think, Sophia? And the Maroney family are going to get along. Will that work? Let me know what you think. I'm Odi J. If you like this kind of content, 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.